For centuries, the open ocean has beckoned adventurers, traders and explorers. Vast and unforgiving, the sea presented a formidable challenge, finding one's way across its trackless expanse. Navigation, the art of determining position and planning a route, became essential for survival and success on the high seas. Without it, ships and their crews were at the mercy of the winds and currents, their fate uncertain. Before the advent of modern technology, sailors relied on a combination of ingenuity, observation and time-tested techniques to navigate. They looked to the heavens, using the sun, moon and stars as celestial guides. They kept meticulous records of their speed and direction, estimating their position through a method known as dead reckoning, and they relied on increasingly sophisticated maps and charts to plot their courses and discover new lands. The history of navigation is a testament to human curiosity and our enduring quest to explore the unknown. It is a story of daring voyages, groundbreaking discoveries and the constant refinement of techniques that enabled sailors to navigate the vast expanse of the world's oceans. Long before the advent of compasses and sextants, sailors looked to the heavens for guidance. Celestial navigation, the art of using the sun, moon and stars to determine position, became the cornerstone of maritime navigation for millennia. By observing the position of these celestial bodies and consulting astronomical tables, skilled navigators could determine their latitude or distance north or south of the equator. One of the most important tools for celestial navigation was the astrolabe. This ancient instrument, with its rotating disks and intricate markings, allowed sailors to measure the angle of the sun or a star above the horizon. By comparing this angle to tables, they could calculate their latitude. Later, the sextant, a more precise instrument for measuring celestial angles, further refined celestial navigation. For centuries, celestial navigation remained the most reliable method for determining position at sea. It allowed explorers to cross vast oceans, discover new lands, and establish trade routes that connected distant corners of the globe. While celestial navigation provided a way to determine latitude, sailors also needed a method for estimating their longitude, their position east or west of a known point. This is where dead reckoning came in. This method involved keeping careful track of a ship's speed and direction over time to estimate its current position. Sailors used a simple tool known as a chip log to measure speed. This consisted of a wooden board attached to a knotted line. The board was tossed overboard and the number of knots that passed through the sailor's hand in a specific time frame indicated the ship's speed. Direction was determined using a compass which aligned itself with the Earth's magnetic field. However, dead reckoning was far from perfect. It relied on estimations and was prone to errors that accumulated over time. Currents, winds and the inherent inaccuracies of the instruments used could all throw off a ship's reckoned position, sometimes with disastrous consequences. Section 4. Charting the Unknown Early Nautical Charts As sailors ventured farther from familiar coastlines, the need for accurate maps and charts became paramount. Early nautical charts, known as Portland charts, emerged in the 13th century. These charts depicted coastlines, harbours and potential hazards, aiding sailors in navigating familiar waters. They were often adorned with compass roses indicating directions and rum lines, which showed courses that maintained a constant compass bearing. As exploration expanded, so too did the scope and complexity of nautical charts. Cartographers began incorporating information from explorers' logs, astronomical observations and even accounts from indigenous peoples. Maps became more detailed and accurate, depicting not just coastlines but also ocean currents, prevailing winds, and estimated distances between ports. These early charts were invaluable tools for exploration and trade. They allowed sailors to plan voyages, share navigational information, and venture into uncharted waters with greater confidence. Section 5. Navigational Instruments, Tools of the Trade 
Over time, sailors developed a range of instruments to aid them in their quest to navigate the seas. The magnetic compass, invented in China and adopted by European sailors in the 12th century, revolutionized navigation by providing a reliable way to determine direction, regardless of weather conditions. The cross staff and back staff were early instruments used to measure the altitude of the sun or stars, providing a way to determine latitude. The quadrant, a quarter circle shaped instrument, served a similar purpose. These instruments paved the way for the development of the more precise sextant in the 18th century.